The second thing I'd like to talk about with Ave is this idea of stable loans and uh, credit delegation. So the first thing, um, let's be careful. Um, so Ave offers something that is more stable than let's say compound, uh, but it isn't fixed. So you can think of a fixed rate loan that you might get. Uh, uh, for example, a mortgage might be a fixed rate. You could also have a variable rate mortgage. But we're not talking about fixed rates. We're talking about stable rates. So the idea is they're relatively stable. Okay, so the, the word choice is important. This is not a fixed rate. So, um, so, so basically, um, we can imagine a, a situation where the borrower has the option to switch between a variable rate and the current uh, stable rate. So um, the supply rate, in contrast, is not stable. So it is always variable. Um, so, so this is important that um, it's, it's really impossible uh, to imagine a model where the supply rate uh, is a fixed uh, rate. So um, the supplier obviously uh, will earn um, the, the revenue that comes in from the stable and variable uh, borrowed interest rates. And of course, there could be fees um, that are deducted from that and, uh, and other things. But the basic idea is the same as we've seen uh, before. So uh, again, the stable rate is not a fixed rate. Uh, there is adjustment in extreme situations. So if there's a liquidity crunch, then there will be an adjustment uh, in the rate. But the idea is that it's just a little more stable than, um, than something that uh, in other protocols you would experience. Um, there is another idea uh, in Ave, and this has to do with credit delegation. Okay, so the idea here is that users can can allocate collateral to potential borrowers uh, who could use it to borrow an asset. Okay, so everything we've done so far, you're actually providing the collateral. So, for instance. In traditional finance, I've got a house, I pledge the house, and I take a home equity loan out. So I'm pledging that collateral. There's a different type of loan in traditional finance where uh, you don't necessarily pledge that collateral, a line of credit or something like that. Well, everything we've done in decentralized finance has to do with fully collateralized or over collateralized borrowing. So the idea in Ave is that we can retain the idea of over, over collateralization, but enable a possibility where somebody effectively uh, provides the collateral for the uncollateralized uh, borrower. So, so maybe this is the case that you know somebody um, and there is an element of trust here. Okay, so this happens outside of, uh, of the Ethereum blockchain. But it is a way, potentially, to earn some extra uh, funding. So you can imagine that uh, a delegator, because they are basically pledging this collateral uh, for somebody to, to borrow, there is some risk, of course that there could be a default and they are not paid. But it's important to realize that that default doesn't impact the protocol itself because the protocol is still going to be over uh, collateralized. Okay, so, so essentially something is happening outside with some level of trust that enables um, those that want to delegate their credit to earn uh, an extra rate of return. So this is, uh, I, I think, a, a very interesting idea. And one thing that has been lacking in the DeFi space 
is this idea of having people borrow without uh, having the collateral. The flash loan is an exception here because it happens all within one transaction. So it has got zero duration. And what we're talking about here is having um, people being able to borrow within DeFi that don't have the actual collateral. And this delegation is a way uh, for this to actually happen. So overall, Aave, um, it's, uh, it's pioneered uh, flash loans, um, and this provides extra returns to their liquidity uh, suppliers. Uh, it also attracts a lot of business to Aave for those that are doing arbitrage. So we talked about uh, a simple arbitrage where you could reduce the loan rate from 15% to 5% in our example, but there could be other types of arbitrage that are available out there and flash loans are extremely useful in capitalizing upon uh, that type of arbitrage. And uh, Aave also offers relatively stable loans and in terms of the rate and this idea of delegation. So a lot of stuff uh, within this leading uh, protocol. So again, let's, uh, let's look at the, um, the traditional problems and, and kind of what Aave is doing here. So uh, on centralized control, we've got rates that are algorithmically uh, set, but uh, have the possibility of being relatively stable. Uh, limited access, now we've got uh, the flash loans, which are the ultimate democracy in finance where anybody can take one of these loans for arbitrary amount, as long as it's paid back within the same uh, transaction. Uh, so inefficiency, again, uh, very similar to these other uh, mechanisms, whether it's Maker or Compound, uh, that were algorithmic rhythmically uh, pooling the assets and, and optimizing the interest rates. And by that, it means that the suppliers are getting a reasonable rate of return and the borrowers are, are paying uh, a reasonable borrowing rate, much different than centralized uh, finance. Uh, interoperability, a problem, obviously, in centralized finance. I showed you an example with the flash loan where we just seamlessly, within one transaction, went from Compound to Aave. So uh, this is, these are interoperable. And of course, um, transparency. Everything, everything is open. So anybody uh, can see uh, what is happening. The parameters um, are visible, the balances are visible, the collateral is visible, all of the steps uh, the flash loan that I showed you, you can literally click on EtherScan and you can see all of the steps. Okay, so it's very, very clear. So this is uh, a very transparent uh, mechanism, as is all of decentralized finance.